from 2018 and 2014. Look at the difference. Yeah. 72% yeah, no, to 47%. Surging, surging interest across all demographics. Um, you know, now interest doesn't translate to votes necessarily, but it certainly seems like the electorate on both sides across the spectrum is really primed for, for November 6th this year. Do you think that's because they care or is that because the party has done a better job contacting them? That's a good question. I don't know. I mean, I, th I think part of it is there's just no escaping politics in our everyday lives now. I mean, so everybody is, it feels like they're, they're tuned in, they're locked into what's going on in a way that they haven't necessarily in the past. And that's partly the Trump effect. I mean, he's in the news, right. he's driving the news every day. Whether you love him or don't, you can't get away from him. Therefore, I think uh, he, he evokes strong reactions on both sides. And I think that's what we're seeing in these numbers. Right. I think we're seeing that too. But a lot of people think big turnout is big for Democrats. Do you still believe that? Not necessarily, no. I mean, in fact, it, it depends on the district. It depends on the state. I mean, if it's a if it's a Republican leaning district or Republican leaning state, big turnout would be probably good for Republicans. So I think it's a district by district thing um, overall. And again, each one of these races matters. If you have a lot of Democrats, they turn out in very blue districts. That's not going to help Democrats in some of these right. swing districts uh, or any of these red states. I think you have a monitor there. I, li I love this poll. It was kind of buried in the results here in the Wall Street Journal. The congressional preference in the most competitive districts in the country. It is, it is a virtual dead heat. Yeah, no, so the national number is a plus nine for Democrats, which is, a, which is a strong number, and that would actually correlate to them taking over the House. But that's what caught my eye. In these competitive districts, their generic ballot lead has disappeared. And what that suggests is that Democrats are overperforming, as I just mentioned, in very blue districts, very blue states, um, but not as much in some of these more competitive districts. And that's, that's a good sign for Republicans, I think, just two weeks before the election. Again, you know, I always caution people, let's not make too much of any one single poll, but we have seen some of these similar trends in other polls, especially in President Trump's job approval rating. And do you still, real quick, do you still say health care is the number one issue, the economy is number two, immigration in the top five? How would you rank it? Yeah, that's what we're seeing. I mean, health care definitely seems to be in all these races. Everybody's talking about it. We saw it in the Florida governor's race last night, the debate. Um, but the economy is there. And that was the other thing from the, from the Wall Street Journal poll. Dem Republicans have the best rating on the economy that they've ever had in the history of that poll. Unbelievable. But yet the tax cut overall is under 50 percent. But somebody's feeling something and it's reflecting in these polls. We'll see what it means in 16 days. Tom Bevan, thanks so much. Real Code Politics. Thanks, Brian. All right. The other big story is civility. Senior, Senator Mitch McConnell sits down for dinner with his wife, and this happens. Why did you get out of here? Why did you leave the entire country? Dead snakes. Candace Owens says people are tired of the left's mob tactics. You see, that guy got shouted down. Mitch McConnell kept his cool. Plus, is health care still the number one issue to independent voters? We have a panel to talk about that next. They look exactly like them. This program is brought to you by Cosequin, available at veterinarians and fine pet retailers. Come on, Clinton, you can do it. You're almost there. I love you. Come on, Quinn, let's go. Throughout the years, you've kept your best friend moving. Come on, Quinn. With the number one veterinarian recommended retail joint health supplement brand, Cosequin. Hey, is anyone home? Quinn! Oh. For every step of life, trust Cosequin. This flu season, protect yourself and your sister-in-law's.